I suppose the best film that I've been in was all about Eve. Critics and the trade loved it. Well, it was a film of distinction. Witty, sophisticated, <laughs> and brilliantly written and directed. Yet, despite the acclaim heaped on it, they did not do well at the box office. To be commercially successful, a film has to adhere to about three basic formula. The most profitable and surefire of which is boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back again. <laughs> Within this framework, one can be witty, daring, profound, or even dull. The boy can be a dipsomaniac, and the girl a misguided member of Ku Klux Klan, just as long as they meet apart and get back together again. Permutations are infinite. It isn't even necessary for the protagonist to be human, as Disney has proved. In the case of All About Eve, there was no such appeal to basic emotions. Our film is about sophisticated, ambitious, wickedly amusing people, competing for jobs and appreciation. In the show business profession, the audience wasn't rooting for any of us. I played a cynical newspaper theatre critic, and the only person who ever loves a critic is his mother. <laughs> and an actor who has a good notice for it. <laughs> well, there are not enough critics' mothers or favourably noticed actors in the world to fill the cinema. <laughs> I got an Oscar hmm? for my performance in All About Eve, which I suppose makes this film the high point of my career. If I sound doubtful about it, it's because Oscars, for which so many actors and actresses pine and scheme, are really a mixed blessing. I was very grateful and flattered to receive mine, but apart from making my already large ego one size larger, it did absolutely nothing for me. I can generally imagine that when one receives an Academy Award, one's salary shoots up. In personal experience, I have to report that this is not so. <laughs> you see, the truth of the matter is that while Hollywood admires people who win Oscars, it employs people who make money. And to be able to do one does not necessarily mean that you could do the other. But be that as it may, everyone wants an Oscar. And the handing out of these coveted trophies takes place at a highly emotional ceremony, which makes strong men weak and turns egocentric actresses into weeping and blushing maids. Mm. The correct procedure for women, women, women's? Winners is the word. The correct procedure for winners seems to be to disclaim all credit for their victory and to look stunned and transported with ecstatic disbelief and surprise. The resulting performance is usually even better than that which once won the award. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats for the 23rd Academy Award Ceremony with this year's host, Mr. Fred Astaire. The night I got my Oscar, I was accompanied to the ceremony by Josh Ogbourg, to whom I happened to be married. <laughs> <laughs> the occasion for me was so filled with painful suspense that I never rose about a state of frozen stupefaction. In contrast to Josh, who was soaring and plunging between enough emotional heights and depths for the both of us. Firstly, she was delighted at attending this top flight pedo. Secondly, triumphant at being associated with the winning team, and thirdly, drenched in black indignation when it was tactfully explained to her she had not, in fact, won the prize herself. <laughs> she was scarcely eligible by virtue of the fact that she had not as yet made any films. <laughs> but this quirk of circumstance seemed irrelevant to her, and for a long time afterwards she remained both hurt and excited. Uh, 